down the area, but you can see this one has already been pollinated. I am about to come up with a video when I self pollinate some of these uh, fruits. Yeah. yeah, so it's doing really well. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, City Boy Farming. In this video, we're gonna be growing watermelons vertically. As we get started, as you can see right here, I have my watermelons already prepped. Uh, they just ready to go in the container. And what I'm gonna to use to grow vertically is this tomato cage I have right here. And since this pot is big enough to hold two watermelons, of course, you can see I already tried to put four, but I was like, no, nah, I'm just stick with two. That's what we're just going to do. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, plant these first and have these grown on the trellis. Like, I'm going to train it growing on the trellis, so I'm going to have to wrap some vines around. And I'm going to show you what that looks like, look like in a minute. But what you want to do is plant them next to, like, in between the little... Uh, stems right here the little legs right here so just get one right there and one right there or you can have one in the middle and what you can do is train it and it will grow all the way around so i'm gonna show you exactly what that's gonna look like all right so this is what i was talking about so you just want to have a plant in between like that and what these do they grow little vines and what the vines going to do they're going to want to grab something like this and want to wrap all the way around so they're going to control their own path of growing i'm gonna have to train this one going this way up here keep going around and this one going this way going that way going around so they're gonna be so they won't have to interlock with one of each other uh, but they will get some uh tangle because we're gonna have some loose vines that's gonna be coming off which is good it's normal so it's not too bad so that's what that's gonna look like i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about so here's one that i've, I've been trying to uh do actually i've been doing very good with it and this is a I want to say seven gallon a bucket with one plant inside this is a cantaloupe a sierra gold cantaloupe and as you can see it's wrapping all this little vines around here and it's hanging on and it's doing really good this plant was so small and i had it in a little pot as soon as i put it in here it just took off of course but the pot was like like it was cut straight from seed but anyways you can see what i'm talking about where they're gonna need they want to grab something these little tentacle things, these little vines right here, they wanna grab and hook on it and wrap itself around. So that's what the sugar baby's gonna do. But sugar babies are normally small, so it won't be growing out of control like this one. They have like a straight path. Uh, Cause I started this one, like I said, in from seed from the pot. And yeah, that's what I was trying to show you. These highs tangle up right here and they're gonna wanna climb on something. So this is a tomato cage. Uh, you can simply get these from Home Depot or any uh, garden store you have around here. Uh, where you at? Very simple, easy to do. Uh, but yeah, try it out. What's up, everybody? I'm just doing an update on my vertical growing with my sugar baby watermelons. As you can see, I have some female flowers that are single and ready to mingle. I have one down here that I, I self-pollinated. Let me show you that video later and then i got one that been pollinated down there so it's doing very well zoom in on now got some coming in got a whole bunch more and i got some up here it's coming in but i'm gonna have to i'm gonna trim this up right here that way it just focus energy on the fruits so i'm gonna do the same I'm gonna do the same on a couple more, but you can see it. It it's been it's been a while, but look at it. it looks very nice. Looks very nice. Same thing going with this one. I have this one growing up the pole bean trellis. I'm using the uh, wire that's holding it, and I got some female coming in right here, and I have one down here. It's doing pretty well. I have many more plants as well, but I'm just giving you an update. And that's pretty much it on this video. If you find this video very helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And that bell notification to let you know I post a video. Which I post every Wednesday at 12.15 p.m. Thanks for watching. Peace.